So you've been on the market for an AI writing software and you keep getting bombarded with multiple different products and services if you're on Twitter, uh, email, and just any Facebook groups. So I completely understand where you're coming from when it comes to finding the right AI writing software and the one that you can use for your website or blog. Um, so in this video, since you've already clicked the title, you probably know that we're gonna be going over content at scale. So content at scale is a complete AI writing software that can also generate one click blog posts that are optimized for SEO. So if you wanna learn more about this tool and how the service works, I'm actually gonna be teaching you everything I know and how I've been using it for my business. And I'm gonna go over the pricing features and everything else. So my name is Eddie and I've been blogging for a few years now. And I've even been able to work for one of the top performing bloggers and became a online consultant for their company. So if you wanna learn more, you can go ahead and click on the link below, but let's go ahead and jump in and learn about content at scale. All right, so let's jump straight into this review and content at scale overview. Uh, but before I continue, I wanted to let you know the pros and cons right off the bat. And for me, some of the pros were that you actually can create blog posts and generate content pretty quickly and it only takes a few minutes for each article to actually uh, populate. Next up, they do have a clean and simple user interface. Um, it is very, very simple to use. Then they also have a WordPress plugin. So this plugin allows you to import and pu publish your article once you've optimized it for search engines. And they also have a bulk create content keyword. Uh, so you can bulk keywords into the CSV file, uh, upload that into content at scale, and you can generate up to, I believe it's 20 or 50 blog posts in a few minutes, which is insane. And then they do have different pricing plans uh, depending on your uh, uh, scaling needs. So some of the cons that I've noticed were a lot of the content does need substantial editing. So they do, uh, and they have coined a term called AIO writer, which is artificial intelligence uh, um, optimization. So essentially you hire someone to optimize uh, the content to your liking. And yes, it can also repeat some sentences at times. And uh, for those who are beginner bloggers, it might be just a little too expensive, um, but that's perfectly fine because the pricing actually outweighs, uh, the, the, the features actually outweigh the cons, right? Um, and then there's no Surfer SEO integration. So if you are an SEO like me, you do like using content optimization tools like Surfer. So that is uh, some of the pros and cons. Um, now jumping into uh, their pricing. So you can see here that content at scales pricing, uh, it is a little higher tier for most people. And that's completely understandable. Uh, but jumping in here, you can get 20 blog posts uh, for $500 a month. You can do about 50 blog posts per month, which is the current plan I'm on with the WordPress plugin at $1,000 a month. And then you get the agency plan, which is 100 blog posts per month with the WordPress plugin and also white labeling features for $1,500 a month. So you can see that the pricing is kind of scary and that kind of that can actually you know push you away. Uh, but what I'm going to be teaching you inside of here is the actual uh, content that it generates. And I'm going to show you how I generate content and what it spits out. So and it's going to jump into my actual computer screen so I can show you exactly how to generate AI content that can rank on search engines. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right. So now we're inside of content at skills dashboard and you can see that I am on a uh, somewhat of a brand new account. I was actually starting to write content. And you can see I already wore four articles here and one of them is how to start a credit per business. Um, so I did wanna show you how that looks inside of an actual article that I wrote. So we can see that um, here is the published post, how to start a credit per business. And this was completely, mostly written with content at scale with my own personal edits. And it looks really good. The headers are great. Um, you can see here the heading structure, everything looks amazing to me. Um, content looks great. Everything is perfect almost. <laughs> I just needed to do a few edits. So when we go inside of the actual article, um, you can see that this was the original formatting of it. And uh, when I went into WordPress, I ended up changing a few things. Um, just so going based off of this, you can see that um, the dashboard is the user interface is really simple to use. We have the title, uh, we have the URL slug, uh, we also have the meta description, and you can update all these things. You can also select a featured image if you really wanted to. 
and you get a little bit of a NLP data and optimization on the right hand side. Uh, another cool thing is that this is pulling the data from like the about the top 10 pages of Google um, that are ranking for this specific keyword. And you can also see that we get a checklist here. So you get a whole on page checklist that is uh, really, really important to kind of go back on. And if you ever forget anything, then you also get a brief. So if you didn't like what uh, content at scale generated, you can come back here and you can actually rerun this post um, and then or change the FAQs. So once you're ready, you can review for a plagiarism scan. So you can make sure that none of the content that you generated is uh, plagiarized. And that is one of the best features about content at scale. So NIMS, let me go ahead and show you how to actually use it. So I went ahead and found a keyword in my master spreadsheet that I wanted to use. And we're going to go ahead and go into uh, generating a blog post. So let me go back into here uh, where you want to go is either you can go by adding content. You can look at the keywords, make sure that you don't have any in the queue. So when you click on add content, it's going to give you a few options. The first one is you can enter the target keyword that you want to rank for. Also, uh, this is where you can also upload the CSV file of keywords if you want to do a bulk import. And the cool thing is you can also change the word count. So if you want it to be 2000, 3000 words, if you want it to be 750 words or more less you can do that you can also add additional context um, so if you're not ready to you know immediately create content you can go to the customize and edit their the brief or the content outline that's going to be really useful if you already know what you're going to write about let's say you're like using surf or seo and you know which headers you want to use you can customize that here um, let's just go ahead and jump in and start creating the content so one of the keywords i was looking for which is in kind of the uh, credit repair uh, industry is when to start looking for apartments. I want this to be about, and let's say 1,200 to 2,000 words. Uh, additional content is going to be saying, talk about uh, when someone should start looking for apartments and explain that you should have a good credit score and, and and income. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and use that for now. And you can, when you click on customize, it's going to start generating the brief here. Perfect. So you can see that we have a custom brief. Um, and this is just for an example, everyone. So I normally go into Surfer SEO. I create the content editor in there. And then I know what I'm going to write about. Once I do that, I, I create my own outline. And then I try to plug it into content at scale. Uh, but since I haven't done that, I'm just going to go ahead and follow through with what they have here. So what you can do is go ahead and create content now. And now it has a, a keyword in the queue. Um, so you can either refresh and it will start to populate that info. Uh, sometimes it can take a minute or two. So we're going to go ahead and wait. Perfect. So you can see here it just populated when to start looking for apartment. Um, and it's going to go ahead and give us a status update. Um, so once it's ready, it's going to say pending optimization and you can actually update these filters as well. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and for, you know, for this video, just kind of run through this as fast as I possibly can. So it's almost ready. Awesome. So it's been a few minutes. Uh, I went ahead and uh, see that it's optimized now. So what we're going to go ahead and do is click on this article and perfect. You can see that it generated a uh, brief and everything else. Um, so it even came up with a really good title. That's I think that's pretty good. So ready to rent. Here's when to start looking for apartments. We even have the URL slug when to start looking for apartments. We also have a good meta description ready to rent. Get the inside scoop on when to look uh, start looking for apartments. What you need to know and how you find your perfect place. <laughs> that's like that is honestly amazing to me. Uh, and then you can see here that we have a the NLP uh, related keyword data here. Um, that's perfect. We have the brief. We also have the review section for the plagiarism. Um, so you can see here from the document editor, it, it's a really clean editor. It uh, doesn't really, you know, d doesn't give you too much info, which is great because you, you want to focus on the content, right? Um, so you can see that it provided us with an amazing intro. It even provided us with good H2s. So we have built budgeting for an apartment, uh, the credit score requirements, the income requirements, uh, finding the right apartments, and then we have our FAQs. So to me, this is a very good start to a optimized article. Um, so you can either do this yourself by adding in the NLP keywords that you want to include, or again, hiring a AIO writer that um, they coined. So this is going to be really, really, really good for someone who 
needs to scale and scale fast. Um, so one thing that I, um, some people might notice if they're already using content at scale or if you already have uh, watched other videos, uh, sometimes they'll have like a table of contents, they'll have like a key takeaways feature. I took all that off because I have a very custom theme um, that doesn't really allow me to use those table of contents and everything else. I need to do that on my own. Um, so if you ever wanna change that, you can actually go to your project settings for the specific URL. And here you can see the project context. You can see the website. This is my personal brand website. You guys can always check that out. Um, you can also change the tone of voice of the content that spits out, uh, the default word count. And this is where you get the post automations. So if you wanna add like a click to tweet, takeaway features, the table of context, and also the FAQ, that's where you'll do that. One thing I love about content at scale is you can add call to actions. So you can add a post intro and also a uh, post conclusion uh, call to action. So if you're like, let's say you're promoting the same products or services, or if you have your own, you can enter that into here and it's gonna go ahead and default that into your regular content. Um, yeah, so that's essentially how I use content at scale. Um, and it's been doing really well for my content. Again, you, you guys already saw my article here um, and it looks great. I use Canva to design my images um, and content at scale has been a big part of uh, this process with my test sites. So I'd love for you guys to kind of get the idea of, you know, content at scale shouldn't be just like a, you know, you generate the, you generate the AI generated content and then you just publish, you need to edit, you need to make it personal and you need to make sure it's something that you're, happy and and feeling great to post and publish because this is going to go out to the world to your readers and your audience um to me this is like a seven out of ten article i only publish 10 out of 10 on my own website so you need you need to start editing to make it a 10 out of 10. you need to edit things you need to add in your personal opinions and you need to really focus on making this article something that you'd be happy to publish on your website or your writer right and you can see how if this is kind of making your head spin uh, because you want to do so much, this is this is good. This is this is how AI tools work. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like that review of this part of the process. And um, there's a lot of things to do with this AI tool. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the uh, comment section. Let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, I mean, and be honest with me. Do you guys like this tool? Do you guys uh, love this tool? Do you not like it? Uh, do you not like how it works? Uh, did you learn something new? Uh, feel free to let me know in the comment section below and I'm gonna be creating a lot more content just like this. See you guys on the next video.